Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Trees here. Just me and the critters and some hats. It is January 22nd, 2020. It is Wednesday, hump day already. Right, Charlie? He's looking at me. And it is 5.03 p.m. And, of course, let me set some of these hats aside. I'll set a few aside. I told you guys, I show you guys what I've been working on, and I will, but let's do the weather real quick. It's been so cold, and I know y'all are tired of hearing that, but it got down to, uh, it was 26 degrees. It was 26 degrees, but it felt like 19, and like I said, we don't have, like, you know, full, a furnace or anything, so... You know, it's it's heat in the front room and it's heat in the in the bedroom, but you can't do both at the same time. So you have to pick and choose. And in fact, it was so cold this morning that I told Brad, "Could we have just a little portable heater in back, and then we have a little bit bigger one here in the front room?" I said, "Take the heater out and go ahead and put it in the bathroom because, girlfriends, it was so cold. I did not want the man bit to fall off." Because they might have, because, you know, it was just that cold. So, you know, I said, go ahead. And, well, I took it in there for him. Because, um, you know, I, I do a lot of that stuff. Like he, he had done for me in the past when I have had um, a mobility problem. Um, so now the roles have reversed. And, you know, so I'm like, I'm going to the bathroom. Hand me the heater. And, um so I got it unplugged and I took it in there and I turned it on high and got the um, uh, uh, bathroom started to warm up for him for, you know, about five minutes before he um, uh, uh, went in to take a shower and then he brought the heater back out when he uh, um, was done. But man... It was so cold, and that little heater does fine for us in the bedroom. And a tip for any of you guys that are, a lot of you guys are all fighting the heat, you can still use your fans. What I did was we have a tall upright fan, and, you know, our room, our bedroom is pretty congested. We have two queen-size beds in there. Uh, yes, we both have our own beds, and then we have basically like two kind of dressers in there, and a lot of other stuff, a lot of tools, drying racks, that kind of stuff, so, you know, space is at a premium, and so we have this tall, upright fan, and it was in the way, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to put it up on this table, well, that worked out well, because you tilt it to the ceiling, you know, up towards the ceiling, and it blows all of that warm, wonderful air off your ceiling, back into your living space, down below where you are. So try that if you're like, man. And also, like, if you live in a warmer state like we do, well, you have air conditioners, right? And they're all uncovered. We went and covered air conditioners just from the inside. Just hang a towel over the front. You'll be amazed at, at how much warmer it keeps your, your house if you have a drafty house or a drafty trailer like, like we're renting. Um, you know, so that really helps. Um, but yeah, I pointed that tall upright fan up like this to the ceiling. And then we ha just have the heater on low, and it just circulates that all off that ceiling. And, and uh, uh, you know, it's just wonderful. So we make do, plus comforters and blankets and all that. So um, earlier, I couldn't figure out why little girl Nixie was kind of sitting here shivering. Well, I gave her a haircut last week because it had warmed up, right? So I thought, okay, we're over that cold spell. Little girl with cold. She's in the bedroom now. The bedroom stays warm. I'm just out here long enough right now to go ahead and sh make this video, show you guys this, these hats and stuff, chat with you. I'm going to then go and I'm going to surprise the mister. And I know he won't have time while he's at work to watch this video. I want to surprise him with an apple pie. I've had a pie crust in, in the fridge for a while. You know, it's just one of those, um, I think it's Pillsbury 
you know, or it might even be the off brand. Um, it will kind of just roll out. And I got a bunch of apples that I need to use, you know. So um, I thought, I'm going to surprise him. He is a huge pie lover. He loves him some pie. So I have this recipe that is about three-fourths away sugar-free. And so I'm going to make an apple pie with a crumble top. And um, it will be a surprise for him when he comes home. Last night I made a double batch of meatloaf. It's getting toward the end of the month. And I am kind of taking inventory of what we have, what we don't have, in regards for next month. We figure next month's going to be kind of tight because we're trying to get where Brad can have, you know, if we can afford it or f uh, find a way to swing it, where he can have some of the uh, spinal decompression uh, uh, therapy. And, you know, insurance doesn't cover that. So uh, we're going to try and, and as my friend, Mrs. Volpe from our Half Acre uh, Homestead says, is to purge and try and get rid of extra expenses. So I'm doing this month is I'm taking close inventory of what I have down to even, I just went through, I don't know how you guys do your wax melt, those of you that love your wax melt. I have two boxes. I have the box of the stuff that I'm working through, and I'm kind of weird that way. Uh, maybe a little OCD or just just organized. I know I consider it OCD, but I kind of line them up. And like when I have, I have three wax melters that I use in the house right now. I have one right here by me. I have one that is between the front room and the kitchen. There's a countertop. Um, I have one there and I have one in the bathroom. I no longer have one in the bedroom because we didn't really have a surface that, you know, really worked for us. I just have an oil diffuser in there that I love. Um, plus I have two that my friend, um, sent me, Shoshona sent me that, um, is home is where my dog lives and home is where my cat lives. Now those are smaller and those plug right into your wall outlet. Love those too. So I have all those, and I try to mix, if I'm doing a fruit scent, like in the front room, I try to do it throughout the house, not the same scent, but fruit. Um, so uh, I kind of line up all my wax melts, and then I have another box that's empty, and when I use that, that uh, uh, a square out of the wax melt, usually I use two squares unless it's the smaller plug direct plug-in. I'll throw them in another box that I have. That's one where I've already used that scent. And then when I work all the way through there, then that that box is full. Then I go and I pull. Well, what I did this morning was I was writing down scents that I was almost out of and stuff. Um, you know, so I know what to look for. And because I don't want to spend too much, I'm really trying to really, really what they say is almost like eating out of your pantry challenge. Maybe I should issue that today. Let's issue a eating out of your pantry or your cabinet challenge as much as possible for February. That's a great month to do it because it's a short month. So let's do that. Let's try to spend and let's all keep track and see what we do. And, you know, um, I realize that a lot of you guys have a lot bigger households than we do because there's just two of us here. So, um, you know, we can even break it down per person. Um, let's say there's four of you, you'll divide up what you spend for the month. You know, and that depends on kids and stuff. But let's just kind of keep track and see how we do. Let's see if we can use up as much as possible and feasible and spend as, li as little as possible from our, our money and use up some of those pantry items. It's a good time of year, I think, February to do that because spring is right around the corner. And usually when spring comes, kind of our eating changes because we'll be having more fresh fruits and vegetables coming available. I don't know about this year because it's been such a hard winter and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I think it'll be a cool thing. So, yeah, I've been taking inventory of even my wax melt. I have a small list. I have a set amount 
that I want to spend on my wax melt, which I will tell you is not much, is like $20, okay, because I just really want to conserve. I want to have as much money available for my husband to be able to use to have this um, bio decompression because he went, I know my hair's kind of fly away. I washed it last night. I'll get to that in a minute. But last night was another night where he was a very restless night. He was in a, a ton of pain. We're going to try some at-home stretching exercises that he still does, still knows of from when he went through physical therapy and stuff and see if that helps because he's got to be able to get some sleep. Um, you know, yesterday when I finally, I finally gave up the ghost and took a shower, it was about a quarter till four, and I thought, probably about as warm as it's going to get here in this trailer. I went in there quickly, took a shower, but I did, I, I just bought some of that. I don't know why they put, like, juicy green apple. I mean, it was suave shampoo. It was like, well, you really got to put juicy? I love the scent of it anyway. And then I deep condition. I always use that it's Aussie three minute miracle for deep condition leave in. You put it on. I use it once every three months. I put it on and I leave it for the three minutes. I, I put it on. I wash my hair. Then I put that on. And then I'm busy, you know, uh, uh, cleansing the rest of me. And then I wash it off. And it's just my hair is so soft right now. And that's why it's kind of fl fly away. And I know you can't tell because. I got this light right here. Oh, see, it doesn't really help. But anyway, it, but it is just so soft. So, um, I figured I'd show you guys these hats. And then I'm going to uh, start carrying stuff back into the bedroom. Because uh, it's getting colder out. I don't know. I feel cold today. Um, and we'll bake that. We're just having... Leftovers, like I said, I made two great big pans of meatloaf last night. Um, that's when I was start, starting to talk about the inventory because I was doing a quick inventory yesterday of what we had left for hamburger in the little freezer, which is where most of the hamburger seems to live. And I found out I had a lot more hamburger than I thought, which was well good because, you know, meatloaf takes, or at least my meatloaf seems to take a lot of, of ground beef and so I made a double batch though so because we had a lot of hamburger left and, and um, I always put some sausage in with it and then my meatloaf was never the same twice. My friend Carol had sent me some, um, she had found some markdown cans of uh, French onion soup mix. Oh girl that is a game changer guys in your meatloaf. I have always used the Lipton onion soup mix, the powdered. Oh, I don't know. I think I may be buying the, the French onion soup uh, from now on because it was, Charlie, it's, it was so, it has such a nice flavor and then it had such a nice kind of a gravy that you mix in with this meatloaf, you know, and your eggs and, and whatever crumbs you use. I use usually saltines in my meatloaf. That may sound kind of strange. Actually, it does sound kind of strange. Usually I use bread. When did I switch that up? Huh. Because usually my hamburger steak I use saltines. Huh. Well, last, yesterday for some odd reason, maybe because I, I found multiple open packages of saltines, I used saltines instead. It turned out really good. And then I did, and I used spices um, and I used some uh, pe uh, some red and green bell pepper and some some diced to me uh, diced onions also. Um, I used seasoning, and then I didn't have any tomato sauce left. So, um, but I had some of the spaghetti sauce, you know, like the I think it's Hans or something that comes in a can. We usually use it because it's cheaper to use instead of all the tomato products for your spaghetti, and then we. We fix it. We alter it. We doctor it. Uh, so I used that, and it turned out really well. And then I took my, instead of doing baked potatoes, I, I cut the potatoes up um, and uh, sprayed some uh, cooking spray on the tin foil, and then um, uh, sealed it all up and baked that in the oven with it. It was really good. And then I think we had, um, 
avocado because my friend Carol also had sent us some avocados she found really cheap and we were using the last of those. Those were such a treat and that was so good. So um, we're just going to have that tonight for leftover. That and I think I'm going to make, I don't know, Brad said he wanted a noodle mix. I just kind of want some plain rice with my meatloaf. And so I think that's what I'll have. Um, uh, because I got to make rice anyway. So that's what we're going on. We're supposed to be hopefully getting some mail and stuff from the um, Brad's uh, mother's estate attorney. Um, so, you know, be going there with that. Um, the house being fixed and stuff is just, I don't even talk about it, okay? I don't talk about it. Just, it's a very irritating thing. And I just have to say, you know what? It's not my, you know, mother. So I just have to let the siblings all work it out. So, but anyway, it'll be all be what it's supposed to be. We're not the master controller here. So let's show you guys some hats and then I'll proceed on my way. So I finally sat down last night and put all the buttons and stuff on the hat. That's why I haven't shown you guys. But so here we go. This is a little infant hat right there. These are all hats that I've finished. Um, this is just a, what is this? Uh, this is a small adult. And I did a little bit different of a brim, but it wants to kind of curl up on me. But anyway. Well, that's a small adult. No, oh, I'm on the throw. This is another infant hat. This is another small adult, I believe. Or me, maybe it's a medium. It's a medium adult. So anyway, there's that. Put this stuff down here. Okay. This is a large adult. This one, I guess, finished up last night. Put a curly cue on it. Put a little skating, you know. But I thought that turned out cute. This is all kind of ribbed. Yeah. So, yeah. I like it. So, that one. Finished this one last night. A little elephant on it. This is that um, really, really soft uh, yarn that just, I don't know, it makes really nice baby blankets and stuff, too. This is, I believe, this is a medium hat. Right there. Like that. And, let's see. This is a toddler hat. And believe it or not, that's all scrap yarn. That I'll kind of combine together. It's got a little kitty cat on it. Right there. And, stay, stay, stay. Don't tip over. And this is another toddler hat. It's got the curly cues on it. And I thought that would be a good button on it. And this is another infant. A little bird. And then this little infant one. Like that. Those are all the hats I have made. Currently that'll go in the big bag of hats that will all be sent. Uh, 30 of them will be sent to California. So, Brad still got to look for a uh, place. That's his division, or his department. He's got to look for places um, for that. And, I think that's about it, right, Charlie? Really? What? I know. You're a good boy, aren't you? He's a good boy. Yeah, he being a good boy. He being love a devil. Boy, they sure have been cuddly at night lately. It has been cold. He gets laid right next to me. He gets sucked in as tight as he possibly can. Okay. No. And then he gets covered up. Yeah. And next he gets the other on on her dad. Or if, if he's not covering her up, then she comes over to my bed and I cover her up. So, so get them all nice and tucked in. <laughs> right? Right. So anyway, I'm going to get off here because I'm going to get that pie going and then I'm going to get back to the bedroom where it's warmer. So anyway, I love you guys and I hope you're staying warm wherever you are. 
It was 55 earlier today, but now the temperature is dropping. But I think we're over the very coldest of it, so that'll be good. I did get to go outside for a while today, finally, with the with the dogs. I didn't get to yesterday, um, but uh, sitting out in the nice sunshine, that was nice. So, anyway, love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. And I think you guys are awesome, and I will talk to you tomorrow.